Coastwing is a Visual Studio Code extension that lets you create an interactive playground similar to CodePen, but with some significant advantages. So we'll take a look at how you can install it, set it up, and use it on GitHub through CodeSpaces. Since it's a Visual Studio Code extension, the easiest way to install it is to find the extension tabs in the activity bar or go to the view menu and select extensions. From there, you can click on the search box and type in code swing, then hit the install button. Now that it's installed, you can start a swing by using the command palette. You can use the view menu or use the keyboard shortcut. I'll type in code swing and look at all the options that are available. Since I know I'm going to be using this later, I'll add a swing into a directory. I'll make a new folder and go ahead and hit the open button. You'll get an option to select the template to get started with. There's quite a few options here, including HTML, JavaScript, React, and other pre-built templates. I'm going to go with the first option, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This is going to open up a swing in your playground. Now notice that there's no folder that's actually open. So let's go ahead and open this folder. You'll notice that there are four different files in here. Index.html, JavaScript and CSS, as well as an additional codeswing.json file. That one stores all the settings for your codeswing. There are three tabs open as well as a preview. Let's go ahead and hide the open editors. Now let's try adding some HTML. Since I have the Emmet extension on, I can use some shortcuts. One of the first advantages to CodePen is that I have the full power of Visual Studio Code in an environment with all of my extensions and plugins. It's the editor I'm used to working in with my own preferences and color themes. Let's try some CSS. Now this is a live preview that updates constantly. In the background, Webpack is managing all of your files and letting you see changes as you make them. I also get the full power of VS Code's IntelliSense. Let's try some simple JavaScript. See how the text for the welcome is even being updated as I type it. Now, like in CodePen, we didn't have to use scripts or link tags to make the CSS and scripts interactive. Now that we have a solid swing going, we should have more options in the command palette. Let's try changing the layout, but before we do that, let's make sure all these files are saved. Now let's go into the command palette, type in code swing to see the options, and select change layout. You can see that there's a lot of different options right here. Let's try the split left layout. Now this automatically hides the documents, so you can click right here if you want to see them back. And I have a lot more room to work with now. Now you can also change the layout by using this icon right here and choosing a different option from the list. If you choose the tabbed option, you can see that all of the files will be in separate tabs in the same section of your page. I like the other layout better. Let's try adding a library to make our code playground a little bit better. I'll go to the command palette, type code swing again, and I'll choose add library. Now from here, I can choose whether to add a script module just a regular script reference or a style sheet. I'll choose style sheet. And you can see that there's a long list here of things that I can add. I'm going to type in bootstrap and I'll choose it from the list. Now here I can pick the version of bootstrap that I want to be using. I'll go ahead and choose 5.1. And here I can choose the version of the library that I want to use. I'm gonna use the minified version of bootstrap. You can see that the text already looks a bit different. Let's go ahead and play around with this a little bit. I'll make these a little bit smaller and I'll place all my content in a container class. Now everything aligns into my breakpoints. Let's go ahead and add some more classes here. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of these other paragraphs.
If you're a developer, you're probably already wondering how it's doing all this. Now, there's certainly some magic happening in the extension, but basically, it's using CDNs to load up the different libraries. Codeswing already knows how to look for the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files, and the way it keeps track of the additional libraries we've added is in the special codeswing.json file. Let's go ahead and save this and open up our Explorer and take a look at that codeswing.json file. You can see that there's a section for our scripts. We're not using anything in here. We would want to add a link to our Bootstrap JavaScript if we were using the full version. Here's the link to the style sheet, and you can see that it's loading it from a CDN. So far, this would be great for maybe demos that you'd be doing in a classroom, but what if you want to share something with the world? Now that's where GitHub code spaces will come in handy. So let's go ahead and create a new repo for this project. I'm going to go to repo.new. That's a quick shortcut to get a repo going. And I'm going to call this Bootswing. I'll hit create repository down here. And then I'll copy the terminal command to add the origin because it's really a bit long to remember. So let me copy this, switch back over in here. I'll go ahead and open up the terminal. And I'll do a git init. Then go ahead and add everything and commit. Let's go ahead and clear this out. All right, there's a couple of other files that I need to add. First, I need to go ahead and add a git ignore file. I'm on a Mac, and they always create these files called dsstore, and I want to make sure that these are not pushed onto GitHub. Also, this is going to work just fine for me because I already have the CodeSwing extension. But if somebody went to GitHub, they wouldn't get the same experience unless they had the same extension. So what I'll do is I'll create a folder here. I'm going to call this dev container. And in there, I'm going to create a file called dev container.json. Now in here, I want to add the extension that I want preloaded when we open up the code spaces environment. Now let's go ahead and add these. Now that we're in here, we can just hit the period. And our project will run with code spaces using our code swing. Now, if you want to share this with somebody, you can just copy this URL and send somebody the link for this code swing. You know, this is going to make a nice starter template that I could use in other projects. So I'm going to go to the settings tab and then I'll click on template repository right here. Now, if you go back to the repo, you can create a new repository based on this one by hitting this button right here. 